Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Thomas Bark and welcome back to another episode of VPN Drama. So the next day, news has been released about the NordVPN hack and looks like NordVPN is confirming that it was hacked. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out VPNTierList.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. This is an article on TechCrunch, and quite frankly, the news is blowing up. So NordVPN themselves have come out with an official response on their own blog. According to NordVPN, they have gathered all the data regarding the events of the last couple of days. We understand the security concerns that arose from the information found online by security researchers and will address them in detail. So NordVPN kind of recaps their post by saying, to recap, in early 2018, one isolated data center in Finland was accessed without authorization. That was done by exploding a vulnerability of one of our server providers that hadn't been disclosed to us. No user credentials have been intercepted, no other server on our network has been affected, the affected server does not exist anymore, and the contract with the server provider has been terminated. Even though only one of the 3,000 servers we have at the time was affected, we are not trying to undermine the severity of the issue. We failed by contracting unreliable server provider and should have done better to ensure the security of our customers. We are taking all the necessary means to enhance our security, blah, 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 saying they did an audit and everything like this. So what is my thoughts on this? Well, to be honest, it seems, again, like NordVPN is kind of downplaying the issue here. They're saying, you know, this happened and, you know, nothing was leaked at all. Um, we didn't do anything wrong, really. We just picked the wrong super provider, blah, blah, blah. Um, but honestly, guys, it just kind of seems very disingenuous to me. According to, no according to TechCrunch, um, NordVPN had known about the breach a few months ago. They kind of go over this in their blog, but they didn't disclose it today because the company wanted to be 100% um, sure that each component with the infrastructure is secure. However, to me, this doesn't really make that much sense because NordVPN believes it was like an isolated incident, an isolated server. So once they got rid of that, why wouldn't it be secure? That doesn't really kind of make that much sense to me. It seems like to me, maybe they just didn't really want people knowing about this. And the fact that it's become news definitely doesn't seem good for NordVPN. Apparently, a senior security researcher was talking um, to TechCrunch who reviewed NordVPN's statement, says that they find the evidence uh, very troubling. They said, while this is unconfirmed and we await further forensic evidence, this is indication of a full remote compromise of this provider's systems. Um, that could, should be deeply concerned to anyone who uses or promotes these particular services. So while NordVPN obviously is trying to downplay the issue, it looks like there might be more at hand than they kind of let on. NordVPN again is claiming that no other server on their network was affected, but apparently the security researcher who was talking to TechCrunch warned that NordVPN was ignoring the larger issue of the attacker's possible access across the network. Your car was just stolen and you're taken on a joyride and you're quibbling about which buttons were pushed on the radio. The researcher said, so there you go. The company confirmed it had installed intrusion detection systems, a popular technology that companies use to detect early breaches, but no one could know about an undisclosed remote management system left by a data center provider, says a so spokesperson. <laughs> Funny enough, the research says they spent millions on ads, but apparently nothing on effective defense security. Ouch. It looks like NordVPN was hacked. It's hard to say exactly um, without being within the company or being a security researcher exactly how much information was leaked or the level of danger that happened. However, the bottom line is that they were hacked and they, they, they do claim that they're gonna do better in the future. But honestly, they're one of the biggest VPNs in the world in terms of users and stuff like this, so they should probably be doing better. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below about this. All right, guys, looks like there's also been some other news about Torgar VPN being kind of caught up in this thing as well, this whole hacking thing. So stick around for the next video and we'll find out what's happening there.